May 14th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off in Fukushima. This is an RSOE update number 109. TEPCO officials confirmed today the months long of suppression that the reactor number one at Fukushima suffered a full meltdown. According to the disclosure today, workers discovered earlier this week, yeah right, that the number one's containment vessel has been leaking water and today discovered a sizable hole that they believe was created by the fallen fuel pellets. The water leakage not only indicates that the cleanup efforts will take longer than originally expected, but also that the worst case scenario was already underway when TEPCO said it had been avoided. Ooh, big surprise, TEPCO lied. Uh, before anybody panics over the very scary phrase, full meltdown. It is worth pointing out that the nuclear scientists don't necessarily agree on what that means. The difference between a partial melt meltdown, which is, which is what we were led to believe had happened, and a full meltdown, which is the term dominating today's headlines, it's unclear and per perhaps not even important. According to the Columbia Davids Brenner, a full meltdown occurs when the exposed fuel melts through the bottom of the containment vessel. That's not the dangerous part, though. When asked in an interview about the danger of meltdown, Brenner said. Uh, so it's melted through the containment vessel. It's into the groundwater. And uh, I saw a report today um, about the, the ground sinking by about a foot. So who really knows what's going on in Fukushima, but it's definitely a heads-up situation right now. Uh, over to Earth Changes, Scott.net. We've got a lot going on today. Uh, thousands of dead fish along the I-210 beach, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Thousands of dead fish were discovered Wednesday lining the shore of the I-210 beach. Most of the fish washed ashore on the southwest corner of the beach. Officials with the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries identified the fish as shad, which are known to travel in huge schools and are more common in creeks. A biologist collected samples of the fish to send off for testing. Though no official results are back, of course not. Biologists said the fish kill was most likely caused by low oxygen levels, their favorite excuse. And the story goes on. Taiwan gets a tornado. Um, they've got a video uh, shot by uh, Taipei residents as tornado affects the port of Taiwe Taiwanese capital on May 12th, the twister lasted around two minutes, flipping an SUV on top of some motor motorcycles, but there were no reports of casualties. Uh, not an everyday thing to happen down there. And their story, Japan reactor core damage worse than thought. And that's pretty much the story I just uh, read to you off the RSOE. We've got multiple vortex forming over North America. Uh, there is an upper-level low-pressure system vortex storm forming off the east coast of the United States. Uh, it's an included front with a low pressure of 29.29 hg or uh, 992 millibars. The winds are rotating in the system counterclockwise. Uh, in the previous post, we gave some possible explanation of the situation, and we gave some ideas about polar cyclones, Arctic storms, nor'easter storms, and explanation of the um, Corollis effect. Now, the upper low pressure systems are important to forecasting, can dramatically alter one's forecast. Upper level lows can occur in association with mid latitude cyclone or may begin. And the aid of mid-latitude cyclone upper low levels without the aid of surface low can develop when air flows over a mountain range in association with an upper shore wave or in association with a jet streak. Well, this doesn't really account for that. <clears throat> but uh, that's definitely that's the story I reported on before. 
And of course, Gunderson uh, put out his video today. I will uh, attach it below. Uh, one step forward and four steps back as each unit challenged by new problems. Uh, Fukushima report by Gunderson. Uh, I must watch, I must admit. U.S. sharks dying by the dozens due to eternal bleeding. This is off the coast of California. Dozens of leopard sharks have been washing up dead in California since April. And now the necros shows neocropsy shows that at least one of the sharks died of massive internal bleeding such that the blood was even coming out of the shark's skin. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what's going on with that. Costa Rica earthquake magnitude 6.0 and we've got uh, dead walleye showing up by the thousands in Ohio Port Clinton Got a story on uh, some clouds. And then, of course, the Mount Etna story. Red sky at night. Sicily looks on as Mount Etna erupts in spectacular fashion. There's some really good videos coming out with Etna. And uh, they've got another story. Experts says eruption of Etna volcano linked to the earthquake in Spain. And a town faces town that faces being wiped off the map. Flood waters engulf every home in Mississippi community. And again, they are opening up all these uh, levees and, and uh, making room for all this flood water to come through to uh, save the houses where uh, the bulk of the people live. <clears throat> and um, the only thing I can really see them complaining about is that the casinos are closed and they're losing revenue. <sighs> it's just insane. Um, yeah, and they're talking about another flood story. Uh, here's that story, U.S. Fort Worth lightning strikes create fireball explosions, and that's the crazy transformer uh, video we, everybody's probably seen already. And uh, the Fort Worth explosions, that is like nothing I've ever seen before. And uh, I can't seem to remember seeing lightning strike to, to start the whole situation. But that's me. I don't know what's going on with that. And uh, finally, another story. Plan to flood Fukushima reactor could cause new blast, experts warn. Plan operator TEPCO reveals meltdown and breach of pressure vessel with Greenpeace warning against pumping water in. Where the hell has Greenpeace been during all of this? Quiet. Uh, just another front company. Experts have warned of a potentially dangerous radiation leak if Japan proceeds with plans to flood and damage the flood a damaged reactor containment vessel at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The facility's operators have admitted uranium fuel rods in the number one reactor partially melted after being fully exposed because of the March 11th tsunami. And uh, TEPCO said water levels had fallen at at least one meter below four meter long fuel rods inside the reactor's core and melted had slumped to the bottom of the reactor's containment vessel. And uh, the damage is even more severe than TEPCO has previously reported and again that's pretty much the same story I read before. And um, they're talking about flooding this thing in the hydrogen and we're not out of the woods yet. <clears throat> out of um, the extinction protocol, food production yields fall under strain of climate change patterns. There have already been plenty of indicators that global warming may be acting as a drag on the world's food production, lowering yields and pushing up food prices. Now a Stanford University research team has modeled in detail how the planetary warming of the last three decades has hit the world's four main food crops. And um, this is more scientific bullshit on that carbon tax crap that they want to jam down your throats. Um, they are taking it through the court system right now. Um, they're trying to get you through the legal system because the politicians are holding still. And I'm... <sighs> yes, the climate is changing. But it's not because of cars and coal fuel plants. Cycles in the sun. <clears throat> the
They have the Tornado Shatters Calm um, in Taiwan story. And Moderate Earthquake in Guam. And that's about it for the Extinction Protocol. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Steam and Ash Explosion at Bulazan Volcano in the Philippines. Um, so Bulazan is acting up in the Philippines. The sharks in California. 6.0s in Costa Rica and Japan. Over to the Watchers, uh, what they've got new today. Historic Mississippi flooding gathering towards the Delta. And um, they are opening up just vast amounts of farmland and just soaking it. And what's that going to do to the price of food? Because they're just now realizing how much crop loss we have entailed. <clears throat> because this should be an ongoing problem through mid-summer. And uh, that definitely affects the crops. The later they get it in, the later they can harvest it. And the sooner winter shows up. So, get ready for a long winter, I am sure. Sun diving comet and coronal mass ejection. Um, this is a piece trying to um, downplay what happened. A comet dove into the sun May 11th and seemed to trigger a massive eruption. Emphasis on seemed. Watch the movie, then scroll down for further discussion. A comet goes in, a CME comes out. Coincidence? Probably. Yes, the sequence was coincidental. And again, this is <clears throat> them trying to explain something they don't quite understand, I'm sure. And what else, what else? And, uh, of course, the rain in South Africa and Nambia and the flooding going on down there. And anything new going on on the RSOE? We have a nuclear event in Sweden. Uh, Ring Hollis Nuclear Power Plant in Varberg. Municipality. Um, they were reporting they had a small fire that went on for 20 minutes and uh, all the radioactive material was um, taken out of the building and uh, everything's completely under control but uh, Sweden, Sweden is a, reporting a nuclear event uh, they had a fire in one of their power plants and let's see more flooding in Saskatchewan Canada a heat wave in India and that is about it for the new stuff today. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy while you can. Thanks for it.